Nearly a year ago, people started calling for changes in downtown Norfolk after a deadly shooting that killed three people and hurt two others. Since then, city leaders have made sweeping changes to clean up downtown to try and prevent something like this from happening again. Alex Little Hales is live in Norfolk with what's changed over the last year. Hey, Janet. Well, the changes have been both in the way Norfolk police officers still monitor this area, but also the way businesses conduct themselves in this district. As one business manager here in the corridor told us, this shooting should not have been the catalyst for these changes, but it's better than if nothing came from it in the first place. Change is more than a word written on Granby Street. In the change of Granby Street where it's been progressive. It's a feeling felt in downtown Norfolk. I feel like it matters really because you want to be able to go out and have a good time and not have to worry about adding that level of security back to people. This weekend marks one year since the deadly triple shooting outside of Chicho's backstage. The loss of Devin Harris, Markwell Andrews and Virginian pilot reporter Sierra Jenkins in Bria Coon's view haven't been in vain. There's been a lot more police presence, you know, since the shooting has happened. Coon is the general manager of Benny's on Granby. She says from the mobile cameras to increased police patrols, the reminders of an overhaul to public safety are everywhere. I don't think it's just been like coincidence. I definitely think it is the changes just because I'm, I work here every weekend. So every Friday and Saturday when there's a lot of, you know, people coming out, people going to the bars. We're, we've been pretty steady, so it hasn't been as if I've seen where, you know, people aren't going out on the weekends or anymore or anything like that at all. Businesses are under different guidance for the way they operate now, too. Multiple shootings after the Chicho's incident led the city staff to revamp its process for conditional use permitting across Norfolk restaurants and bars. Places now need to prove why they deserve to stay downtown. And for the businesses that have seen the then versus now. I feel like it was. It's the change they hope is here to stay. I think that was the catalyst to all of it, though. Like, it, it just was like a big blow up and they were like, OK, we finally like we have to do something. So that one business manager's opinion of safety, that is not an outlier. We have talked to leaders with the Downtown Norfolk Civic League, and they have said that business owners have told them that there is an overall sense of heightened and improved safety conditions in this district. Live in Norfolk, I'm Alex Little-Hales for 13 News Now. And prosecutors withdrew charges against suspected gunman Antoine Legrande because of issues getting witnesses to cooperate in the case. A few weeks after that shooting and other downtown incidents, former Norfolk Police Chief Larry Boone left the department. The city is still working to hire a replacement. Last week, city manager Chip Filer revealed there are three finalists, all from southeastern cities with urban and suburban populations. Filer hopes to have a final decision next month.